Hi, scholars. Um, I wanted us to pick up where we left off on Friday with our Henry and Mudge story. Remember last week when we left off, Mudge ate the snow glory. So let's see what kind of adventure they go on next. Today's chapter is called Puddle Trouble. Look at all of that rain. In April, it rained day after day, after day, after day. Henry was so bored. Mudge trued up everything in the house. So Henry said, let's play outside anyway. He put on his raincoat and his sneakers and went outside with Mudge. Henry forgot to ask his father if it was all right. Oh no, he forgot to ask his dad if he could go out. What do you think will happen? When Mudge stepped into the wet grass, he lifted his paws and shook them. Too bad you don't have sneakers, Henry said, and he walked in a circle around Mudge. Squish, 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 squish. Mudge listened and looked at Henry. Then he got closer to Henry and he wagged his tail and he shook the water from his big, wet, furry body all over Henry. Oh, Henry wiped the water from his face. Oh, Mudge, he said. The two of them went walking and down the road they found a big puddle. A giant puddle, a lake puddle, an ocean puddle. And Henry said, wow, that puddle is so huge. What do you think that they will do? Let's find out. Henry started running. Mudge got there first. Splash. Muddy water all over Mudge. Splash. Muddy water all over Henry. It was the biggest, deepest puddle they had ever seen, and they loved it. <laughs> sure looks like fun. <laughs> well, Henry's father called for Henry. Henry! And when he couldn't find him, he went outside. He looked down the road. Splash! He heard. He put on his raincoat and he went walking. Splash! He saw. Henry's father saw Mudge with a muddy face, a muddy tail, and muddy in between. Henry's father saw Henry with a muddy face and muddy sneakers and muddy in between. He yelled, Henry! No more splashes. It was just a boy and a dog dripping. <laughs> Hi, Dad, Henry said with a big smile. Mudge wagged his tail. Henry, you know you should have asked me first, Henry's father said. I know, said Henry. Take a look at Henry's dad's face and his body language. His arms are crossed. How do you think he's feeling? Let's see if we can find out. I'm surprised at you, Henry's father said. I'm so sorry, said Henry. I don't know what to do with you, Henry's father said. Henry looked really sad. Then Mudge wagged his tail, licked Henry's hand, and shook the water from his big, wet, furry body all over Henry and Henry's father. Mudge, Henry yelled. Henry's father stood there, 
with a muddy face and muddy shoes and muddy in between. He looked at Mudge, he looked at Henry, and he looked at the big puddle. Oh my goodness, he is so wet. What do you suppose he will do? Then he smiled. Wow, he said, and he jumped in. <laughs> Henry splashed water on, or then Henry's dad splashed water on Mudge. He splashed water on Henry. He said, next time, ask me along. Henry said, sure, dad. And Henry splashed him back. That was a surprise ending for me. I wasn't expecting that. Were you? So I'm curious, um, what is an activity that you like to do with your family? Something that you really just enjoy? I can't wait to hear about it. And I can't wait to see what adventures Henry and Mudge get into next.